I'm out here at COSI with Joe Wood, and you know, it's the 60th anniversary of COSI. That's right. Pretty cool. You've got a major exhibit here this year. That's right. We're, I mean, we always have something new and different mm -hmm. here, but right now we have Titanic, the artifact exhibition. Um, it's got uh, artifacts that were actually brought up from Incredible. the wreckage of the Titanic, uh, which lets us, you know, tell the stories of the, the people on the Titanic. Also lets us talk about the science, like, you know, how do we use submersibles to go down right. to retrieve these objects? Um, now, I don't have a, a, a submersible here, but you could what? do You're it. You're not hiding one here? No, well, it's it's in the <laughs> other room over here. Um, although there is a replica of the That's submarine in, uh, in the Titanic exhibit. But if you are at home and you want to talk about buoyancy, mm -hmm. do a fun activity, you can make a Cartesian diver. Okay. It's super simple. Um, but there is a trick, so you got to make sure you use not just any ketchup packet, but the right ketchup so packet. So you need water and ketchup, but special ketchup. We're going to test the ketchup packets okay. to see if they flow. So okay. you can go ahead and find our, our candidate So here. we just drop it in. Just drop it in the water, see if they float. So that one kind of like floats, float. kind of sinks. Okay. So oh. the reason that they float oh is that out. there are air bubbles inside the ketchup, in the ketchup. packets. So that one's like, like That one's a dud. Ooh. All right, so we'll we'll use Let's this see. one. That our so floater? I'll give you that one. Okay. And you could put it inside the pot bottle here. Okay. So you just squeeze them down in so there. So it's really important that we have that air pocket. Okay. And then it has enough of the air pocket that it floats because that is their secret here. So we're playing with buoyancy. And does it have to be a two liter? Can you use like a it smaller bottle? It can be bottle? a smaller okay. bottle. And if you have younger kids, I would recommend doing a smaller bottle because it'll be a little bit easier to squeeze. Yeah. Gotcha. So you would fill that up okay. all the way to the top. Magic of television. And then you would get this. This is your Cartesian diver. So when you squeeze, actually, I'll give it to you. Okay. When you squeeze it, we'll see what happens. Oh, my the goodness. The ketchup packet sinks. That's so really cool. So what's happening is, and then if you let go, it, it will float. Up. So you're actually changing the buoyancy to the ketchup packet. You are squeezing on the bottle. Squeezing the bottle does not change its volume. The water is incompressible. You okay. can't make it bigger or smaller or take up more or less space. But the air in that air pocket is compressible. So what you're simulating is going deeper into the ocean. Where the water pressure is deeper. Um, that ketchup packet actually gets compressed. And when it does, it becomes less buoyant. So these kinds of things uh, are become very important because our air or our lungs are filled with air. Yeah. So there's yes. a reason why humans cannot dive very deep without being sealed inside some kind of submersible. Mm -hmm. So if we want to, for instance, go to the wreckage of the Titanic, which is two and a half miles down. Yes. We need very special equipment. Uh, that would be a no thank you for me, yeah. but I'm glad people do it. Yes. <laughs> it takes about two and a half hours to get down there. Yeah, that sounds like my personal nightmare, but again, I'm glad yeah. to see what has come up from That's this. That's right, and you can see, uh, for instance, an object that has not been on display since the last time Titanic, uh, the Artifact Exhibition, was here at COSA in 2010. Yeah, it really is just a, an incredible opportunity to come check this out. You're a little bit stronger than me. I guess I need the smaller bottle, but this is a fun uh, little project that you could do at home, teach your kids about buoyancy. You Joe, can thank make you it so much. Over there. You're welcome. Thanks for being here.